Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. Perch, ling, tog, surf stripers, trout, pickerel, plus a spring-like weekend ahead for you guys here in the New Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania, and New York area. It's a good opportunity for you to get out and get it done. Me? No, I will be here in Edison, the Garden State Outdoor Sports Show. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Thursday through Sunday here in Edison, the fishing and hunting show. I know a lot of the old timers will tell you, well, you know, that show isn't what it used to be. Well, I'll tell you what, nothing is the way it used to be. But there are plenty of outfitters. If you're into hunting and fishing, freshwater, saltwater, you have a lot to offer here at this show. I know I talked to a couple of folks as they're setting up. Um, Cheryl and Joe from Fairfield Fishing Tackle, they're here. They're going to have some special deals, a whole dollar table. Uh, if you're into deer hunting, you've got the Garden State Deer Classic, and I've seen several boats set up as well. There's a Cape Horn too, but come in and see us. We're right in the front door. As soon as you come in the front door, you can't miss us. We're booth number 327. You can get some ticket specials in advance if you log in at gsoss.com. Some great speakers here this weekend as well, all the way through. Captain Jimmy Frieda, Captain Austin Pirelli, Surfcaster DJ Muller, and Fisherman Field Editor Nick Honacheski will also be here as well. In fact, Nick is right around the corner. Check out his Saltwater Underground booth. You know, of course, he's the former King of the Ling belt holder, IGFA record holder as well. Nick was telling me he was out on the Dauntless earlier this week, started it off, and they put the hammer to the Ling and Blackfish on that particular trip. Now, Nick, he might be the first saltwater angler that I know of to actually go looking for Ling, targeting them with the jig. Yes, indeed, catching some Ling on the Magic Tail Tog jig. But some of these combo trips will allow you to be able to bring out different types of tackle and try different things. And with the weather, the weather that, that is forecast for the weekend ahead, I mean, we're talking a uh, forecast of temperatures into the 60s for Saturday, a little windy, but I'll tell you, a good opportunity for you to catch some of those tog relatively close. Water temperatures have not been extraordinarily cold, so some of those tog are not yet on those offshore wrecks. Now in Belmar, I know boats like the Big Mohawk have been mohawking the tog to start the 2020 season. There are some charter and open boat operations there as well throughout Belmar, Shark River area, over in Neptune where the last lady is running some open trips, the Skylarker, the Old Salty, plenty of opportunities for you out of Shark River. Also Manasquan, where the Jamaica 2 was sailing earlier this week, had some lobster in the mix as well. Not too bad, some uh, lobster stuffed and some tasty tog fillets. Can't go wrong there. Check out thefisherman.com or pick up the January edition of the Fisherman Magazine. If you come here to the Garden State Outdoor Sports Show, I'll give you a complimentary copy. But we've got the entire sailing schedules, all the boats throughout New Jersey, up and down the Jersey coast, what they're sailing for and when they're sailing. You can get it there. All the way down into Cape May County, where Cape Queen charters out of Cape May, down to Lewis, Delaware, out of Lewis Marina, where boats are still sailing for tog down there. As a matter of fact, at Lewis Harbor earlier this week, uh, we found out that boats like the Katy did, still getting out there on those reef sites where Mike Thompson scored a 9.85 pound tog. So plenty of opportunities for you to get out and sail and take advantage of this weather ahead. Closer to home, if you're not heading out on one of the bigger boats, you do have some good perch action, especially in the creeks and rivers in Delaware, and especially in South Jersey, where branches off the Mullica River are doing well. I would expect the same thing for the Great Egg, perhaps even up into Tom's River as well. Speaking with Dave at Absecon Bay, he's been busy keeping bloods and grass shrimp available for folks that are looking to get in on that white perch bite. Perfect opportunity for you folks who are kayakers, or maybe you've got a tin boat, something on the trailer. If you're dropping the boat in, make sure you, I hope you have the electronics installed on your kayak or your smaller boat. It's an idea uh, of finding some of those holes where those white perch are stacked up, lighten up your fish finder like a Christmas tree. Once you find them, it's been a pretty good bite. But they move around a little bit, so you might want to do a little bit of work to find out where those white perch are sitting. Again, stop at Abseekin Bay, get details when you go bait up. 
On the freshwater side, Yak Masters are doing pretty well there too. Frank Rosinski let us know that the pickerel have been aggressive on some of those South Jersey lakes and ponds chasing shiners up on the flats. So there's always an opportunity, even in the dead of winter, to get out there, wet a line, and get a jerk at the other end of the line. Meanwhile, with all this open water, and these balmy temperatures, it makes wading in some of these North Jersey streams and smaller rivers quite effective. If you're looking to get in on some of those trout, James Holland from Shannon's Fly Shop, he's already into the 2020 mix of rainbows. Said it was an olive bugger that got the job done, got the job done on this 12-incher. Now, I know open water is nice. A lot of the folks I'll talk to at the Garden State Show are waiting for some of that thicker ice. Well, I'll tell you, the only guys that I know of that are finding any ice right now are either going up into New York or out in the Poconos. Let's check in with George, the Pocono Outdoors guy. Well, hey, Jim. You know, once again, the weather is playing havoc with the ice fishing season. We've just been cycling through these cool nights and then these really warm days, and it's really making it hard for the guys to get out and find some safe ice. There are a few guys up north finding some pockets from some small ponds, but for the most part, down here in the southern Poconos, it's open water. Now, the guys are still catching uh, good, good trout in the, uh, the open water, in the, in the uh, streams, uh, the creeks, even the Delaware River, they're catching some great walleye, so there's still a great bite going on. But with some open water and temperatures this week in the uh, 50s, I think I'm going to break the kayak out and see if I can do jigging for some crappie. We'll see how that goes. But for now, guys, you got to get out. From Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. Hey, if you're in the market for a new slip up in this area, you want to get in on that April striper bite, you might want to give the thought to the Municipal Marina at Carteret. They let us know they have a couple of openings up there. It's just around the corner, pretty much. Give them a call at 732-541-3820, extension 3110. Also, just down the road from here this weekend, Saturday is the Inshore Offshore Fishing Expo on Staten Island. I know they do have three good speakers at that event this weekend get great deals as well out at Mount Loretto you can find out information again at the Fisherman magazine pick up that January edition now next weekend if you pick up that January edition you'll see an ad for the Delaware Valley surf anglers fishing flea market that ad is incorrect I'm gonna hit this up for the next couple of weeks the 12th annual fishing flea market with the Delaware Valley surf anglers is next Saturday January 18th Again, look for the calendar of events. I'll give you a reminder this, uh, this coming week, but the Fisherman Magazine will be out at that great show as well. If you want details on that Delaware Valley Surf Anglers event on January 18th, call Joe Kelly, 267-918-4517. If you participated in the Striped Bass Bonus Program in 2019, the state of New Jersey, the Division of Fish and Wildlife, they need those fishing logs back by January 15th. You only have until January 15th to pick them up. I know I talked to some of the division folks here who are manning the Garden State Deer Classic. They really need all that information collected from those of you who had those striped bass bonus program uh, uh, permits last year. Even if you didn't use your tag, make sure you complete those logs. It gives us some real valuable information. Now, while you're at it with the Division of Fish and Wildlife, don't forget to sign up for the free saltwater registry for 2020. You got to do that every year. You can log in at saltwaterregistry.nj.gov. Stop by and see me here in Edison this week. Pick up a copy of the Fisherman Magazine. We've got some great goodies for you, Savage Baits. We've got a whole lineup of fish bites, uh, both the strip baits and also the brand new Fight Club uh, baits that are particularly effective. Used those this past year for some fluke. Also, we are selling the, the uh, release, reduce, and rebuild stickers. Those decals, $10. We're looking for investors for future satellite tagging efforts for striped bass in 2020. Pick up all the details, again, on those satellite tagging efforts that we coordinated last year um, in the January edition. But come see me at the show. The birds are out of the playoffs, so I'll be here every day this week. Pick up a copy of the January edition and get in on all what we've got. We've also got announcements of the Black Drum Contest, the Dream Boat winner, and all that. See me here in Edison. If we don't hook up and you're out catching fish this weekend, good for you. I will catch you again next week right here at thefisherman.com.